Carlo, um, tell us about, you know, what does this mean for me, general relativity? I mean, you know, we can make slightly, we can explain the pre precession of the perihelion of Mercury or something, but does it have any relevance to our, we have to ask this question, I'm sorry, uh, to our uh, daily life, to technology? Well, let me, <coughs> let me start from repeating what you just said, but a little bit more slowly, because I think it's, a, it's key for the whole discussion about time. Um, you have two watches? I do have, I have one watch. One. And this can double as a watch. Okay. Would you like to use it? C can I borrow one of them? Definitely. Forever or for now? <laughs> I've known him for a long for a time. Short time. You know, there are street him. tricks like this. They yeah. borrow your watch and it doesn't come back. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Yeah. So for a short amount of time. Okay, so um, watches are supposed to, to measure the same time, right? So what Jim just said is that uh, if these were a little bit more precise than what they actually are, the following would be true. That uh, if I uh, take one higher and keep one lower and uh, wait a little bit, one, two, three, four, five, then I bring them together, they are out of phase. The one which is higher is a little bit ahead, the one which is lower is a little bit late. Now I want to make something clear. This is not a funny consequence of a strain theory driven by Einstein. This is something which is measured in physical laboratories so with clocks a little bit better than yours and mine. Um, we have atomic clocks which have a sufficient precision to measure, measure this effect uh, at 30, 40 centimeters. 2010, this was measured at uh, 34 to 40 centimeters of different of altitude. So it's a fact. It's nothing to do with Einstein ideas or our ideas about space time. It's a fact that clocks, any kind of clock, anything which evolving, anything that happens, happens faster, high, and slower, low. Right? So um, if I can get next slide. Um, if um, two brothers, twin brothers, uh, start off the same age, but one live in the mountains, and one live in the, in the you, you can have your, uh, near the seaside, after a lifetime, there is an actual difference of age between the two, which is very small. It's of the order of uh, tenths of a second or less, uh, but it's, uh, uh, it's true. Now, it's very small, so we don't see it, uh, we don't perceive it, and that's why uh, it's not our intuition of time is wrong, because we don't have perception for seeing these differences. But it's definitely there, it's measurable, and uh, let me give you this story to see how important it is. When the uh, navigation system, the GPS, was first uh, sent up, you know, the GPS works with satellites. Here's a GPS satellite. Um, in our cars, we have these machines that get a signal from the satellite, and there are clocks up there. So the clocks up there go faster because time goes faster up there. So the physicists told the people who were putting up the system, um, which were in Los Alamos, some engineering, careful because time goes faster there. So the engineers want to implement that. But the GPS was done at the beginning by the American army. So the generals were in, in charge of everything. So they read the report, they read the report, and they say, time goes faster there, show it here. They say, oh, come on, we don't believe that, right? Because <laughs> um, so the first GPS satellites were sent up uh, without taking into account, or more precisely with a switch, which could or could not take into account um, this effect of different speed of time. And without, um, keeping, without taking this into account, the GPS wouldn't work at all. The mistake would be hundreds of meters or kilometers, so it would be completely useless. So the un, um, intuitive ways, features of time, are something which now are deeply to our technology or essential for our life. We wouldn't be able to drive or to kill enemies. Maybe that would be better, but... Um, so today, even the, the you know, US Army generals believe that time goes 